so what's up? We're, we're moving on here in the visual arts area at Bumbershoot 2010, and this is a room that's uh, the Seattle Street Biennial 2010, and we've got... Uh, Jason. Jason. I'm one of the artists, and I'm here to talk about the works at the show. Nice. Talk about it a little. All right. Uh, Bumbershoot called the curator and asked him for a street art show, and so he called up a whole bunch of street artists and he put together this show. It's a taste of what you would actually see in the streets and what could happen if things changed and they legalized some graffiti and what could happen. Nice. So are these pieces of art here stuff that was uh, created specifically for this show? Yes. Everything was created in this room. So these newspaper machines and dumpsters, where did those come from? They, the PI shut down, and when it shut down, we got a whole bunch of the PA, old PI boxes and brought them in. And then the dumpsters were rented by, I don't remember the name of the company, but we rented them for like 50 bucks and brought them in. Nice. And so you're one of the artists participating in the show? Yes. Cool. Tell me a little bit about your work. Is there something up here you can take us to that's of yours? Um, I could, but I don't want to incriminate myself. Okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just basically I like to have shit burn. And so I did a whole bunch of things that are tiny, and they're all over the room. So you have to keep an eye out and look for it, and you'll see me. Nice. And then as an artist that's participating in the show, each of you are taking turns sort of holding down the table over the course of the weekend? Yes. Nice. So what kind of reception are you getting so far? So far, really good. We haven't had any complaints about anything except for the smell because it kind of smells like it, it spray paint a little bit. But other than that, everything's pretty good. And do you find this to be a forum where people actually come in and start talking about street art and graffiti as a oh, legitimate... Yes. Yes, most, a lot of, yesterday there was a lot of uh, business people because there was an award ceremony going on and they were talking about how we need more graffiti shows like this and giving us contacts and stuff like that. But tell me a little bit about your notion of what the current state of the discussion is in Seattle. I mean, I've heard that it's kind of on the radar, that particular discussion about the legitimacy of graffiti as an art form and whether it should be being encouraged and where it comes up against some opposition with vandalism and tagging and less of the really sort of creative mural work that you see. Well, it's all a matter of opinion. We just try to get the closed-minded people to open up their minds a little bit. This is a big help in that situation. We're trying to get graffiti seen by people who don't normally see graffiti and get them to see that as a cool thing. And as us as youth, we could be doing a whole lot more worse things than painting on walls. Nice. So it seems like a pretty high-profile, positive opportunity to really engage with a lot of people who wouldn't necessarily inherently be supporters of graffiti. Yes, most definitely. Nice. So you're having a good time so far? Oh, yeah. Cool. Real good time. Tell me your name again? Jason. Jason. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Thanks for being part of the show. No problem. Sweet. I like it.